going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, for the Game of here. Welcome and you back to another episode of the Pokemon Saga Lock. Hopefully, you all having a wonderful day. Welcome to episode 20. Today is Friday, March 5th. I have a bonus discussion that I have to do today. You know, it's a bonus discussion because I want to get extra credit. Like, oh my god, extra credit is, like, amazing. Anyway, hopefully, you all having a wonderful day today. If you guys are thinking, whoa, whoa, why does the layout look so much sexier? Let's just thank Jonas for that one. He kind of fixed a couple things that we had issues with, and now it looks correct. So thank you, Jonas, for helping with that. It always is appreciated because, yeah, it was kind of a big goofy. Um, and as you can tell, we have trading cards now, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, so today's episode is kind of a bonkers episode because we get a ton, and I mean a ton, of encounters and I didn't sell the items but today's gonna be a longer awesome bonus episode um, so I hope you guys enjoy a lot because we're gonna get all of our encounters today and that does constitute a lot so first things first we're gonna go ahead and use Adam to fly because we have like I said we have a ton we this is probably the most encounters I've God, there's lavender in for a long time so we're gonna be checking some in or some pms we're gonna be doing all this stuff also mouse is on the screen except for it's not on the screen because i fixed that issue too uh i was so 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 peeved over that you don't even know how peeved i mean i literally was so, it's on the screen i was so peeved that i literally made a self-evident title if that tells you how peeved I was, I was, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, and a self-evident thumbnail. So like, I was, I was upset about that. I genuinely, I feel like that was like one of my worst videos ever. But apparently, you guys thought it was one of my best videos ever because y'all gave me a 16-minute average view duration on a 29 and a half minute video. I was like, huh? <laughs> that was, I literally texted Jonas. And I was like, uh, so apparently. People like this video, and I don't know why, because I feel like it's not good. So I gotta take some of the aspects and kind of look at that video more in depth to see like what made it good and what made people like that video specifically. Um, don't fall, so I'm gonna actually pull out for the fact that we're gonna be using. Oh, I can't carry any more items. Great. Oh my god, is this gonna be this? Is is this gonna be this kind of a process? Is this a process that I'm gonna speed up? Probably. Is this a process I should have done off screen? Oh, 100%. But, you know, I didn't do that because it's me. Um. Okay, so. Okay, that I can sell. I guess I'll do my selling now, I guess. I do have quite a bit of money, to be honest, so I could theoretically just buy or spend a lot of it on Great Balls. That might be what I do, just spend a bunch on Great Balls. And we have an Ultra Ball just in case something... Yeah, you know what? That You know, we don't have to speed up that way, so that seems like a great way to go about it. So... First off, route, route 12 is right here. I'm not getting the Route 12 encounter yet because I want to get it after I go ahead and get the Super Rod. Because now that we can fit the Super Rod in our pocket, well, easy fight. I'm speeding up. I don't. I, I understand. Speed up is terrible, but I'm speeding up. But yeah, anyway, today, uh, you know, four minutes into the episode. So if you guys watch this far, um, you see that there's a thinking emoji. Oh my god, I'm like encountering everybody. You see that there's a thinking emoji on today's episode. Well, because today is the day of reckoning. The day of reckoning numero dos. You guys are going to be able to kill a Pokemon um, on my team. So, in theory, nothing's going to die. So, I guess that's a positive. Um, and the reason why I say in theory is because, well, it's me. You never know. Something could die and we're just going to be like, well, that happened. Um, but, yeah, we will go ahead and see... Do you like the fish? Here, have a super rod. Super rods are, like, super amazing. Uh, yes, they are, actually. 
actually. They are the best. So yeah, we got Route 12, Route 13, Cinnabar Island, Route 14, Route 15, Cerulean City. So this is Route 12. Yeah, we like I said, when, when I said we have got a slew also, I'm going to try and use Tarant's uh, method here. Because Tarant, I think, said that you can... Yes! Oh my god! Tarant's a freaking lifesaver! Um, I'm going to put that in the top. And then, then it'll go Pokeballs. Great balls. And I don't have any Ultra Balls. Oh, I do. I have 17. Okay, so we're good. We're set on Pokeballs then. But, I mean, for 12 encounters, or eight, 9 to 10 encounters, like, honestly... Couldn't be. There's no being too set. Oh, that was hyper potions. No, I have 17 ultra balls too. Oh, I thought I had it. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now we're all set. Because Tarot's a god. Um, and we're going to use our super rods. Because why not just use the super rod on everything? Considering it's going to give us the highest level Pokemon in each route. So, again, this is Route 12, so hopefully we get something good. Our encounter is a... Tentacle Rule! Oh! Okay! This is actually really good. <laughs> okay! I was not expecting to get an actual water type, too. Like, honestly, that's awesome. Like I said, and, okay, so I talked to Joy about what the, this episode is going to entail. And I'm like, this episode is literally going to be the most productive episode ever. Because we're getting the most encounters I think I've ever gotten in an episode. And because it's the 20th episode, why not have an extended episode? So we're getting them no matter what happens. Um, which is also exciting because it's like, oh, okay. So no matter what ends up transpiring, we're getting these encounters. Unless everything dies, obviously. But with level 15s and 20 encounters, I don't, I do not think everything's going to die. Although, Tentacles being kind of a pain in the butt, and I don't have any, like, easy Pokemon to, uh, help with that. Am I not going to catch it? There we go, we got it. Sorry, I, I sped up, because, like, I mean, some of these Pokemon should not be that hard to catch. And if it's taken us, like, eight Ultra Balls to catch something... Also, I'm going to name it Kale, because Kale is an interesting name for it. What's weird is that I'm going to find out whether or not they're male or female in, like, four episodes. Don't even have antidotes. Oof. But it's okay, because we are not really moving anywhere, and we only necessarily need... Oh, no. Oh, that's Super Rod. That's the right one. I was like, oh my god, I used the wrong one. It's like, no, no, John. That's the right one. Don't be hyper-conscious over everything. Oh, there's a bite. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we get a Amistar. Mm. Oh, that's, I'm running away from Lord Helix. And here's why. I'm not going to be able to damage it because it's only level 15 and on top of that I'm not going to be able to like catch it because it's a fossil Pokemon I'm not going to waste my time oh and I'm not using a Master Ball when I have a lot of encounters left oh, I'm sorry but that was that had to happen okay item or no we want to fly because now we got to go to a new area so Saffron, I can't get an encounter. I can get some in Fuchsia, but we're gonna go to Celadon first because I feel like I can. I think I can fish with Celadon. Um, unless I can't, and that's saying, but. But we'll find out here in a second if I can actually fish in Celadon, or if I can get an encounter in Celadon, or if that lake that's in Celadon is just like there, which also I can believe both possibilities. So. I feel like I remember, if I remember correctly, this is just, just random water that you can't actually get an encounter in. You might only be able to get it through surfing, which I guess we could try.
but I believe this is just for an item. Yeah, it's just for an item. Okay. So you can't actually get an encounter here. Okay. Well, Adam, fly! Oh, we can go get Cycling Road stuff, too, that I never got. There's a lot. Why did I skip so many encounters? Jeez. I was like, who cares about encounters in an Nuzlocke? Yas! And it's just like... Huh? But it's a Nuzlocke. Isn't that, like, an important function of a Nuzlocke? Yes, okay, you're right, it is. And I just realized that I was going to the trainers, yep. Well, it's easy kills. I say that as I literally get bodied by that. Okay, good job, me. Cool. I'm like, I know that I'm speeding up a lot. I also want to stay within the time constraints, if possible. So, like, that's part of the reason that I'm like speeding up. So there's, like I said, Joy said there was an encounter here, which is correct, because Joy is correct in like 99.9% .9 of cases. Because Joy be clever. Um, okay, what do we get? A Voltor. Okay. I mean, hey, that's electricity back up, so that's cool, because we all know what Pokemon's pro- I'm- I have an idea of what Pokemon I think is dying, so... Good to get a Pokemon... like this? I don't mind. Personally, we got that. Okay, perfect. Voltorb has been added to the- I mean, I really could've used Great Balls. I probably shouldn't be wasting my most the way I do. I'm gonna name it Boom. Because that's literally all the full tome does. But now we can fly again. <laughs> this episode in its entirety. Just fly and fly and fly and fly and fly. So I could technically go to Pallet. But I actually want to go to Celadon first. Because I did not get an encounter in Celadon. I know. I'm bad. Don't worry. I, I understand this. I understand that I didn't... Oh, wait, I went to Celadon. That's the wrong spot. I understand that I'm bad at this game, okay? Okay, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. But, like, we're getting our way, okay? We're making it happen. We're doing exactly what we need to do. We need to go to Cerulean, not Celadon. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Okay. So, gimmicky thing that y'all might not know, and I'm exploiting it because... Why not exploit it? Um, exploiting something for an encounter? What? I know. I get it. It's like... Yes. You can actually fish in Celadon City Gym. And yes, you can actually get an encounter in the Celadon City Gym. It's <laughs> Wasting Maximus' potential. 
that's exactly the point. Also, I have to- oh god, I have to carry this encrypt through. Oh no. Max, I'm sorry, Maximus. I realized what I've- my mistake. Oh no. Oh my god, you don't have space for this. It's like, but, 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 oh. I'm just gonna toss- wait, can I actually- wait. Oh, it's too important. Can I toss this? It's too important. Is there a useless TM that I have in here? There might be. Oh, try attacks actually useful. Spike cat is actually useful, of course. <laughs> Wing attack? I can actually technically. Oh my god, Dream Eater? I'm tossing that because I'm not, I can't put things to sleep. Okay, perfect. There, we threw away a thing. We did what we needed to do. Okay, so now I feel like the encounters that we have left, two of them are fossils and then there's two. Yeah, we're good. We're solid. I are uh, Pokemon. Adam. Actually, I'm testing a theory. I don't think you can do this in any other gym. Other than uh, Misty's gym. So, I mean, we'll test out a theory. And if it actually works, then I'm going to be very surprised. I'm turning up my microphone because I feel like I'm a lot quieter than I usually am. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how to deal with this or what I want to do with this. So, I'm going to go ahead and treat, the, treat it the same way because, you know, you want to treat things equally. Um, hmm. That's like that we got two fossil encounters, though. And what I mean by that is two fossil Pokemon. Because, okay, here's the transition to the new route, so whatever I get here can be my encounter. Before it turns into Cinnabar Island, which is one tile space from Cinnabar Island, so I'll see it. Can I get my encounter, please? Is there, like, just nothing in this water? Bruh. Thank you. That took way too long. Um, it's a... Oh. Uh... Oh no, I get to debate using my master ball. I'm doing it. Because what what other encounter am I going to get that's better than a Dragonite? Let's be fair and open and honest. What better encounter can I get? Mew and Mewtwo. I've already got a Mew, so that's dupes. So, Mewtwo. Like, why would I not? For the only dragon type? Yes. Mm 
that actually that makes this episode go like eight thousand times quicker too so it works it's seven foot three you know what i would give to have a seven foot three boyfriend literally the world okay i'm naming it Kawhi. And I'm at, this is not center bar. Or is it? I, I think I'm technically at the line of center bar. Aerodactyl would be cool. I think Aerodactyl is going to get a pass from me. This is, I think, our encounter. Also, you can see the steep level drop, so... What's unfortunate about that is that I feel like that's our Cinnabar Island encounter. And I don't actually think we're going to be able to catch it. And I'm speeding up to try and catch it, because it can't do anything to me. Oh, it just is missing, isn't it? Oh, no, it's, it's trying. We got it. Sweet. Sorry, I'm speed. I just, yeah, I want to keep these episodes at a reasonable length. I'm naming it. I'm naming it. I don't think we've named anything Jonas yet, so. And honestly, this is a good mod <laughs> for him. Um, not gonna lie. And they're all good reasons, too. But I also think that Aerodactyl can fit his personality sometimes. Again, good reasons, good reasons. But, um... I, I don't know. I love Aerodactyl, though. And it's kind of funny that we got it in Cinnabar Island, where you normally get Aerodactyl. So, kind of ironic there? Um, so I'm going to drop off two Pokemon just because I think I have to, not because I want to, because I don't think they actually transfer to the PC. I think they literally go, oh my god, you don't have space, and it's just like, but like, why? Also, the two that I picked to go into the box don't have any, like, correlation to anything, by the way. I'm just dumping whatever I can. Um, and, like I said, so nothing died in this episode, as we completely and fully expected. So, the layout is who you guys get the opportunity to kill. So, yeah, I'll give you one last look at the very end of the episode. But yeah. Oh, it's a Krabby. Great, another Maximus. We stand it. 100%. We definitely need another Krabby in our life. It definitely doesn't make me Krabby that the Dome Fossil was a Krabby. Oh, do I have to actually go out? Or is it time-based? It better not be... No, it can't be time-based, because Generation 1. I mean, I sped up just to make sure it wasn't time-based, but... We got Krabby. We're going to name this. Oof. A Volt... Another Pokemon we already have. Wow, two dupes. <laughs> of course. That would be my luck. So the eight encounters that we got literally translated to three Pokemon. Oh my god. I mean... Or no, four. Four, because... Uh, Uh, well, it is what it is, but um, that's very unfortunate. Like, it couldn't have been any, like, the, like, Voltorb and Diglett, like, that it, like, it would have been, I think, different if they translated to good Pokemon. 
But they didn't. Oh, they're level 30s. That sucks that they weren't actually something that I could use. Because they could have been a good replacement, so... I mean, yeah, we got Jonas, Kawhi, Mod, Boom. Yeah, those are the four. Or no, Kale. Kale was also... So, I mean, it translated to five. I shouldn't be complaining. So anyway, we're going to get you last look of the team so that you guys can kill them on. Yay. Hyper exciting. So anyway, here's our team. We got Carter, the Raichu, Adam, the Scyther. We have B, the Kangaskhan, Cole, the Arbok, Daddy, the Machamp, and Maximus, the... Well, this one's not dying because I can't remember what Pokemon it is. Kingler. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Hopefully y'all have a wonderful day. I love you all. Make sure you to leave it in the comments below who you guys are killing because this is going to be your last kill before the Elite Four because in the next episode, we're going to take on Giovanni and then getting our way to the Victory Road. So honestly, we're on the home stretch here and I'm really excited. I think literally we have four episodes left from here, which is just wild. We got Giovanni getting to Victory Road, Victory Road itself, and then the Elite Four. Like, the fact that we made it in 20 ish minute episodes faster than ryan and frank in 30 to 40 minute episodes it's just hilarious anyway love y'all peace